Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Dr. Lucy and in this channel we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get treatment if you need to. We also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to just manage some minor eye difficulties. So be sure to subscribe so that we can alert you when we do upload and we upload every single week. So today and the next couple of weeks we will be discussing how diabetes affects clarity of vision and what can be done to manage these effects. As you know diabetes is a lifelong disease and should be managed adequately so that patients with diabetes can have a full life. We all know that over 400 million people are living with diabetes globally and in Kenya about 3.3% are diabetic and some do not even know that they are actually sick. So diabetes occurs due to sustained high blood sugar levels. You see when you eat your food, the starch in the food is converted to glucose that provides the energy to carry out certain processes in the body that require energy. The sugar levels go up after a meal, but insulin regulates it to come to a manageable level. Therefore, if the insulin is defective or inadequate, there will be sustained blood sugar levels way above what is considered to be normal, and that is between 3.5 to 5.5 millimoles per liter. High sugar levels has many effects on the body and particularly on eyesight. Diabetes can affect your vision in the short term on a day-to-day -day basis or in the long run, but you can live and manage diabetes well enough to avoid the complications that come with it. But note that complications are dire and can lead to blindness, literally. When there's too much sugar in the blood, the lens which helps to focus light to the retina absorbs sugar and gets swollen. When this happens, its ability to focus decreases tremendously. Therefore, when you start getting blurry vision, this may be a sign that your sugar levels are not well controlled, especially if it's on and off. If sugar levels are on the other extreme or very low, vision may still get blurry because the brain is unable to focus and this may affect other functions of the body as well. Therefore, whether sugar levels are higher or lower than normal, the clarity of vision will be affected. So having vision that deteriorates then improves on a day-to-day -day basis is a sign of poor sugar control and is a recipe for long-term eye damage. If you have had diabetes for long and with good sugar control, you will delay the long-term eye damage. One of the main ways that sustained eye sugar levels affect the body is by destabilizing the vessels. Of course, the vessels carry the blood and with it the oxygen and the nutrients. This makes the vessels very fragile and they get micro tears and then they bleed and cause swelling of the retina, which is a sensitive part of the eye and this whole process is called diabetic retinopathy. Unfortunately, this process does not only happen in the eyes but also in the brain, the heart, the kidney and the nerves. Therefore, if you are having a diabetic eye disease, chances are that you may also be having signs of heart or kidney disease only that it has not yet been diagnosed. Other long-term complications of diabetes in the eye is by causing cataracts, glaucoma and macular edema and we shall be discussing this in this series. At first your vision will remain rather stable but as time goes on you will start experiencing difficulty in vision and this will be gradual. It may start with one eye and then go to the next and can lead to total blindness. To prevent this, good sugar control is mandatory as this reduces the effect on the blood vessels and delays the long-term complications. Have your eyes checked by a qualified eye specialist who will do a dilated eye examination at least once per year. If vessels are leaking, this can be fixed with laser treatment before they can get further complications, which may be difficult to treat. Cataract and glaucoma can also be treated early before the stage of no return. And this concludes our discussion today on how diabetes affects eyesight and how to manage this. This is the first part of the diabetic series in which we will discuss how diabetes affects eyes and eyesight and how to prevent some of these complications. A question for you today is what are you going to do to make sure that diabetes does not affect you or your loved one's eyes or their eyesight? To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. And until next week, goodbye.